It's another night of gang violence in Los Angeles. Two young men killed, one stabbed to death, the other shot to death in what the police say was an act of revenge. A 14-year-old girl was critically wounded in a drive-by shooting. All told, gang violence has killed more than 560 people now in Los Angeles. That is a record, and officials have decided it calls for a change of tactics. Ron Allen reports. Authorities in California have started attacking street gangs as if they're criminal organizations, just like the mob. Jeffrey. Hundreds of suspected gang members have been identified. Very unhappy with you. You've got a red knife, homie and issued written warnings under the state's new Street Terrorism Enforcement Act. I'm putting you on notice that you're a gang member. The controversial law is modeled after the federal organized crime statutes. It essentially makes participating in a gang a criminal offense. These guys, being that they are gang members, are basically committing a crime pursuant to this law. But critics insist that's merely guilt by association. They charge police trying to identify gang members have taken the Terrorism Act too far and illegally stopped and searched suspects who've not committed a crime. It's not illegal to be a member of any organization, even a street gang. What's illegal is if you're part of, a, of an organization that engages in criminal activity and you have some participation. I don't look at it as a violation of their rights because they do sell drugs. We don't see them selling drugs at that moment. But you know it's happening. Sure. And if police have that information, they shouldn't be putting people up against the wall and searching them for no reason. They ought to arrest them. Once a gang member has been served notice, convictions for any crime carry stiffer penalties. Police insist that a lot of gang members who know they could be arrested for just being part of a criminal organization have gone underground. These gang bangers are more frightened of paper than they are of bullets. But there are still more than 80,000 known gang members in Los Angeles. Membership is growing. Residents who've been demanding more police protection are not seeing results. They just haven't showed the signs of success in uh, being able to effectively get a handle on the problem. Law enforcement insists that solving the gang problem requires creative techniques, but they're aware the street terrorism law has not yet been tested in court. A challenge is expected early next year. Ron Allen, CBS News, Los Angeles.